this point, uh, in less than 10 minutes, we're going to be clearing out of here. So we're coming to the close. But it's been excellent. It's been excellent. And we thank you all for joining us for this 2019 Mosque Cares Annual Islamic Convention. Give yourselves a round of applause. We got our marching orders, right? Yes, alhamdulillah. So we, we know what to do. We'll see you next year, inshallah. At this point, I'm going to call Brother Ted Green, who's representing the governor's office. Terry, 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 Assalamu alaikum. Certainly, too, our protocol has been established. My name is Reverend Derek Green, and I serve as senior advisor to our governor, Phil Murphy. Certainly, too, Imam Muhammad, uh, what a powerful testimony. Uh, I really hope that my son one day speaks of me in that, in that light, the way you spoke of your father the way you respect his upbringing and his teaching to you. Um, I can only know that he is so proud of you and the work that you are doing around the world. God bless you. You are a powerful leader. I also want to acknowledge Imam uh, Alfred. Also, all the Imams that are here today and all the clergy and religious leaders, certainly to Imam Akil, certainly to the powerful Imam W.D. Sharif, uh, also to Reverend Dr. Louis Scott Roundtree, yes. Director of Clergy Affairs for this great city. She is the Bishop of Newark. Yes. And my dear sister, uh, also my sister Shahida is here as well. She, I think she stepped out. Um, and I also must mention Councilman Kaleem Shabazz from the great city of Atlantic City. My longtime friend of over 20 years. Uh, it is an honor for me to be co former councilman as well as here today. And I want to acknowledge you. Exactly. From me, Starch. I'm here on behalf of our governor. Those of you all who are not from New Jersey, welcome to New the greatest state in, a in America, the state of New Jersey. I also want, I'm also here to say thank you to the Muslim community uh, for the impact, the positive impact that you have on this governor and on this state. Imam, you served on our transition team as chair, as chair of our transportation committee. And, in, and you're also in the Martin Luther King Commission. That's right. um, Imam Akil, the, the advice and the counsel that you give the governor, we appreciate what you do in this state. Imam, we appreciate that you as well. Thank you. What I'm trying to say is that we don't talk about inclusion, we live inclusion. Yeah. Councilman, you as well. The reason why New Jersey is on the progressive road that it's on is because of leaders that are on, in this room, including Reverend Dr. Louis Scott Roundtree. And let me just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close, I'm not gonna be here long. I just wanna say that uh, the United States of America is under attack by its own president. Yeah. Our values are under attack. We have to teach our children that separating families and children from families is not the way that God would do it. We have to teach that we don't understand why immigrants don't want other immigrants to come into this country. But in New Jersey, there's a way that you teach. We have something here called the Amistad Commission. The Amistad Commission is a law that infuses African-American history with 
the social studies and history curriculum in our middle schools and high schools. We have to make sure that our children are taught the truth. The only way to overcome a lie is by teaching the truth. That's right, Doc. And I want the truth to be known that Muslims have been at the very fiber of this country from the beginning. That's right. In fact, we are celebrating 400 years of the first Africans being brought to America, 1619, and many of those Africans were Muslim. That's right. They picked cotton and they built this country and they were never paid and they should have been paid. So we need to teach our children that this country was not just built by white, Christian men, but this country was built by Muslims and by Christians and by Jews and by all of us together, but particularly African American Muslims and Christians, and we need to tell the truth so our children can grow up with a sense of pride, knowing their history, and the lie will never be a lie when we tell the truth. God bless you. I go back to 1959, I've been working in this community for 60 years. And I want to say that at all, at all the states in the United States, New Jersey has the most mosque in it, here in America. And alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah, I helped establish 12 of them. But then, but now, I'm very sad that they just gave me a minute. <laughs> I also want to say to Imam Worthy Muhammad's son, 1965, we had a contest. Whoever could bring the most people in will have dinner with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 1965, you had three months to bring in 350 people. That was out throughout the United States of America. I was the only brother to win that contest. I brought in 350 people in three months. And, it, and, and, I, and I had dinner with your, with your grandfather. And I'm sitting at the table, and, they, and John Lee introduced me. He said, this is, this is Brother Joseph 4X from Temple Number 25, Newark, New Jersey. The Holy Apostle, he brought in 350 people in three months. The Armand Elijah Muhammad stood up. He said, brothers, all praises due to Allah. He said, this brother has helped me do my work. He said, brother, may Allah reward you, brother. May Allah reward you. And alhamdulillah, Allah has been rewarding me. And I want alhamdulillah. But the point, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to brag on myself. But what I want, this is what I want to say. After I brought in 350 people, I came back to Newark, New Jersey. I became the first brother in Newark, New Jersey, in fact, in New Jersey, to sell a thousand papers a week, okay? <laughs> Muhammad speak newspaper. The first brothers to sell a thousand papers a week. And from that, I went from 1,000 to 2,000 papers a week. I love the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I love what he was doing for our people. Okay, and what I, and what I want to say to y'all is, I'm making a proposal that, which I had a little more time, I'm making a proposal today. Look at the majority of the people that's in this audience. The majority of people in this audience are women, our sisters. That's the majority of people that's in the audience. Now, th this is my proposal that I'm making. Where's Marad Muhammad? Is he here? Yes. There's Marad Muhammad there. 
when I, I also became captain in the nation, we invited Minister Farrakhan to speak at Dayton Street Projects, where Murad Muhammad grew up at. So I said, I went to Murad. I said, Murad, we bring a Minister Farrakhan here. It was Minister Lewis then. I might, might have been Lewis. Anyway, from Minister Farrakhan. I said, we bring a Minister Farrakhan, Murad. I want you to go out here and get the people. I trained Murad Muhammad. That's another one I trained. I said, I want you to go out here and get the people. He says, yes, sir, Brother Captain. And to make a long story short, Murad Muhammad brought in 350 people in one day. Yeah. Give him a hand. Yeah. In one day. Where's Osman Sharif? He's still here? I brought, I, I brought Osman Sharif's whole family in. That's the truth, brother's whole family in. And his brother, Rashid, also brought in 350 people. Okay? Now listen, this is, this is what I'm making a proposal right now. We need, we need to go out and get our people, That's brothers right. and sisters. We need to go out and get our people. And this one, between me and Marad and, and Rashi, we brought in over a thousand and fifty, how many? 350, 350, 350, how many people is that? 1100. All right, now this is what I'm making up my proposal to, to the brothers and sisters here in Jersey. I want us to go out and get 2,000 women for one meeting. Now, three brothers can bring in. How many we brought in? Every month, we got over 16 different mosques yet here in New Jersey. In New, excuse me, in New Orleans. Yeah, thank you, Mary ma'am. We got six, over 16 different mosques yet, and each mosque yet have a minimum, I say, of 100 people in it. So I'm making a proposal right now. I'm, we gonna get, I'm gonna go to all the imams, and we're gonna talk, but we want y'all to beat our record by bringing in 2,000 people, 2,000 women. And from the 2,000 women, then the, we're going to go get 2,000 men after we, first we're going to accomplish that. Then we're going to go get 2,000 men, and then we're going to get the children. Our children need help. And, th and this is what your father said. Imam Worthy Muhammad says, the brothers and sisters that came from the nation Islam is going to change this world. That's us, brothers and sisters. So let us... Let us get busy now, okay? Let us get busy. And you brothers and sisters from Chicago, from Baltimore, you go, go back and get our people. Our people need help. And I want to say this, I'm going to close. The number one killer in America, do anybody know what the number one killer in America, just raise your hand if you know. If you don't say anything, who knows what the number one killer in America, just raise your hand. Sister in the back, stand up, sister. You raise your hand. Now, what's the number one killer in America? That sounds good, but that's not the number one killer, though. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what the number one. You raise your hand. What is it? It's true too. Oh, that sounds good, but it's not the number one killer. Stand up, sister. Yes, he already said it already. Okay, the number. The, 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 num the number. The number one killer. The number one killer in America from 1973 until now. They have killed 13 million black babies in the abortion clinic. We being exterminated, brothers and sisters, and we don't even know it. We got, we got, to, get, we got to get back in these streets. We got to go back and help humanity, help our people and help humanity. All right, so, let's, so, so now we're going to go first. Now look all the women here. We're going to get, we go get our women. Y'all going to beat the three brothers. Brother Yusuf Muhammad, Brother Marad Muhammad, and Brother R R R uh, Rashid. Y'all going we brought in 1,100 people. Now y'all gonna bring in 2,000 women.
in one month, okay? We're we, we gonna, we gonna put this thing together. And then we're gonna get the men, and then we're gonna get the women. Are y'all in agreement with that? Yeah. All praise to God. The brother stood up, so I'm shutting up. I said, all like him. I hope you laugh. And y'all know I was kidding on that minute, right? I hope you laugh. So, dear beloved believers, we are coming to the close of our program. Give yourselves another round of applause. 30 years. 30 years. Alhamdulillah. And inshallah, we will see you again next year. We have our instructions. We know what to do. We can't stop. We won't stop. And we'll see you again next year. And yes, sir, I'm going to call Imam Alfred up to the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beloved believers, I'm going to make two announcements. Uh, first, I want to call up Imam Abdul Kareem Muhammad. Please come up. Please come up. Don't let nobody tell you. No, I want you to come up on stage and stand next to me. You are my next door neighbor from, from North Carolina. Virginia and North Carolina stand together. Come on up there. I don't want nobody to get the misimpression that I did this by myself. And Brother Joseph, uh, Brother Captain Yusuf, yes, Brother Yus uh, Yusuf, yes. you will be put to work. You will be put to the challenge. Again, I, we want 5,000 people at one of our next meetings, and we want 10,000 people at the convention. Ishmael Shepstein laid down the gauntlet that we're going to raise $1 million. This is about production. A minimum of one million dollars. So, brother, ma'am, I want you all to stand together. The president of the mosque cares, and Imam Abdul Kareem Muhammad, my great coworker. And I look up to you as my boss. You're taller than me. I, I ain't got no problem saying that an African American is my boss. So, boss man, you be my boss man. The white man was my boss for 400 years. Why not? Can I have a black man to be a boss man? But I also want to give you a great announcement. Imam Muhammad said, New Africa can be built in North. So we will return in 2020 with a clear vision in North New Jersey with a bigger and more powerful convention. See you in the wind as far as God is Thank you. Will you close that, brother? Thank you. I'm sorry to jump up, but after having you, I think that's. And we would like to acknowledge all of our chairs and our co chairs, too. The uh, convention committee, can all the chairs and the co-chairs of the convention committee please stand? Let's give them a round of applause. Because you're out there tired of work on the phone and working behind the scenes, you couldn't make it happen. So please stand, all the chairs and the co-chairs. Please stand. Yes. Please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. And all the committee members. And all the committee members. All the chairs, the co-chairs, and all the committee members, please stand. Stand because uh, right after we finish, we're going to get right back at you again. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So we thank you. Uh, we are now coming to the close of our program, and we're going to close out uh, with the dua. Rabbina atina fudunya hasanatan wa fila kirati hasanatan wa kina atabinar. O Allah, give us good in this world and good in the next life and save us from the fiery passions of sin. Amen. Dear beloved believers, assalamu alaikum. We'll see you next year. Uh, is there a brother, uh, Muti? Thank you. You may have Muti?